Hi, Sonny here. Uh, that's the second part to the song, The Sentinel. And this is the verse and the chorus. Uh, in the intro video, I cover the first section of the verse, uh, which is the beginning of the singing. Uh, and we'll just start from there and cover the rest. Uh, let's kind of review the first section of verse. Uh, basically, you come out of the arpeggio. <laughs> what we cover in the intro video uh, basically you do three measures uh, of um, palm mute on the A string and then you end on the fourth measure all right each measure has four quarter notes and what I mean by quarter notes is that you count four one two three four uh, and it also each measure also has eight eighth note so basically it's four quarter note times two you so you have eight notes so that's what we focus on is on eighth notes uh, so instead of going one two three four eighth note would be like this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four quarter note, one two three four that's quarter right one two three four eighth one and two and three and four and all right so if you think of that each measure has eight quarter eight eighth notes uh, what I like to do I usually break it down in sections so uh, so each measure has two groups of four notes so that's eight notes per measure so we do that for three measure and it ends on the part I talked about all right so the beginning of the first measure you start with A open chord one and you hold on to that chord just for uh, the first quarter note Two beats of eighth note, basically. So it's one and two and three and four and one measure. One and two and three and four and second measure. One and two and three and four and three uh, third measure, and then that's when we do the fifth fret of your perfect fourth, the D and G string. Open A. third fret of your E open A chord uh, it's kind of tricky it's, you know just, you just palm mute but it's really hard to do with the song uh, actually I find it difficult to learn uh, this song it has so many parts in this song they're all really cool uh, so we try to cover all in different videos uh, so that was the first section of this ver uh, verse and the second uh, it's a little different, it's like the first section, but it's slightly different. It ends differently. So, uh, from the end of the first section, go to the second section. That's the second section. Uh, it's almost exactly the same as first section. You still have three measure of the open A uh, palm mute. It's the last, uh, the last measure. Instead of playing, we will play this. So it ends on a D chord. So it goes like this: open A one time, and the perfect fifth, the D and G fifth fret twice open A again uh, and then fifth fret again on the D and G and then you do open A twice and then D chord and that's basically your open D string second fret of your G and third fret of your B string and once you play that you will play the C chord 
only two notes. We'll play the second fret of your D and fifth fret of your uh, G. So you'll probably wonder why is that C chord? Well, the pinky is on the fifth fret of your G string. That's a C note. If you, uh, if you, another way to look at it, if you drop this octave down, so basically it's the third fret of your uh, A string, and you can see that this is a C major third, right? Goes your third fret of your A and second fret of your D. But we're not playing that, we're playing different voicing. So again, the C chord we play is second fret of your D and fifth fret of your G. And then we do an F major third. Uh, that's basically the third fret of your D and second fret of your G. Just those two notes. And then we play a G chord. What I do is a little differently. I put my middle finger on the third fret of your E string, open E string, and then the bottom of my flash on my middle finger is blocking the A string slightly so you won't hear it at all and then we also play the open D and G string together so basically we're playing the third fret of E open D and open G but we strum all four string together but you can't hear the A string because I'm muting it the double bottom of a flash of my uh, middle finger uh, and then we go back to A so again, the second section was like this. Uh, third section, same thing. On the first three measure is muting on the A string. The the end is a little different again, so I'll show that to you. So. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Take that back. Uh, the the third section, uh, sh the 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 mute on the A string is shorter. Uh, so. Going from the, the end of the second section. And we only mute six times on the A string. Two and three and four and. Alright. And then we'll do the. Uh, so far it's just like section two. And then you play the uh, uh, C chord again. This time we play F chord. That's basically the third fret of your D and fifth fret of your G. And then play the G chord. Fifth fret of your D and seventh fret of your G. And the E chord, second fret of your D and fourth fret of your G. Hold on to that for a second and you play really quick. You do the uh, E major. 2nd fret of your D and 1st fret of your G. Alright, so uh, going from section 2 to section 3. Alright, so that's section 3. And then it goes into uh, uh, basically the chorus so as soon as it goes after that part it plays the E major third it goes like this so let's go over that um, so after he played it E major and then he played this part here Basically, it's an E chord. You start from the second fret of your D string and play the fifth fret of your G. Second fret of your D again. 
and then fourth fret with your G. And but play the uh, fifth fret of your G again. And then you play the open A string uh, A chord. Alright. So always pivot back to second fret of your uh, D string, which is an E note. Um, so after that part, you mute on the A string six times. And then you do that again one time on A. And then second fret of your D. And then you do that again. And you play the A chord again. Um, and then you do, and you mute four times. You play the G chord like I showed you before. One time, and the A chord again. And you play that same pivot on the E chord. But this time we play the F chord, we play the third fret of your A and D together. And after that you mute on the uh, third fret of your D string only. You do that six times. That's six times. You do it two more times. So this, so that's what we do. So you mute six times, and you do twice, two more. Fifth fret with your D, uh, G, third fret with D again, fourth fret with G, third fret of your D, fifth fret of your G, and then third fret of your B, and then fifth fret and fourth fret of your G. And once you play that, you go back to that. You play the fifth fret of your D and G twice. Open A. Fifth fret of your D and G again. Open A. Third fret of your E. Back to A. So let me play slowly that whole part right there. Uh, Play slowly again so you can hear, uh, maybe play even more slower so you can see how it goes. play a little faster it goes from the end of the third section of the verse to chorus it goes like this So that's the verse and the chorus to the sentinel. Uh, there are so many cool parts in this song and I will cover uh, more of it in uh, separate videos. Thanks for watching.